Last time on Murder Mittens, let's play Stardew Valley. We finally had good luck after like five days of bad luck. <laughs> we reached our goal of meeting the final villager of Pelican Down. We accomplished a journal entry of gift giving. And we found a big treasure chest within a tiny treasure chest. And that was the last episode. And I'm back everyone, I am Murder Mittens, and this is my day 10 of spring year 1 of our Let's Play Stardew Valley. Alright, my copper pickaxe is ready, and of course we're gonna check the weather. Welcome to Cozy 5, your number one source for weather news and entertainment. Now the weather forecast for tomorrow is it's going to be a beautiful sunny day tomorrow. Okay. Fortune teller! Welcome back to Wellwick's Oracle. If you seek hidden knowledge of the future, you've come to the right place. Hey! The spirits are very happy today. They will do their best to shower everyone with good fortune. That is great! They were good fortune yesterday and they're good fortune today. Greetings, it is I, the Queen of Sauce, here to teach you a new mouth-watering recipe from my secret cookbook. This week's dish, stir-fry! It's a perfect way to get some healthy greens on your plate. Saute those greens in a little sesame oil and make sure to add plenty of fresh ginger and garlic. Now, breathe deeper. Breathe deeply. Ah, <sighs> that's good. You've learned how to make stir-fry. That was a rerun. I must have missed that on Sunday, somehow. I don't know how, but I did. <laughs> Alright, let's go say hi to our lovely kitty cat, which I do believe Beaver's decided is female. And, naturally, water our crops. Since our pickaxe is ready today, we will go grab that, and because it's a good luck day, we're definitely going to the mines. Um, I would like to have it where I can be smelting gold bars before summer hits. So, and in order to do that, we have to get yeah, a decent level down in the mines. <laughs> But, oh, today is also the 10th, however, so that probably means I should grab a daffodil. Throw the rest of you up there. We grab that daffodil. <laughs> um, technically, I have the money, but I don't believe I have any bars. Otherwise, I just trade my axe in for my pickaxe. So, yeah, more reason to go to the mines, get more ore. So I can smelt more bars and start upgrading more things. Let's see. Ooh, maybe that should be my goal. Get be able to smelt five copper bars. So that way tomorrow. Can I grab this before he comes? I can, haha. <laughs> I can upgrade my axe. No. I don't have time to chat with you. Okay. Well, I don't have time to chat with you either. <laughs> uh, I wonder who's the easiest to make friends with in this town. kind of feel like he might be one of the harder ones. Grab this guy. And this one. Anything else? Anything? Oh, look! What do you know? Wormies! Um, and actually... Uh, no. Let's go grab it. I'll just take a s slightly weird way back, I guess. Because we do need to give the daffodil to our friend. Oh, there's a daffodil up there. I didn't even have to actually grab a daffodil. There was plenty today to just grab and give to visit. But 
Hey, what do you need? I need my pickaxe, sir. That's what I need. Da 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 da. You received a copper pickaxe. Thank you. And since we're here and I just happen to have these on me, break them open. Okay. And. Slate. Uh, we'll go back down here. First talk to her. We don't have a school here, but I'm doing my best to give Vincent and Jazz a proper education. I applaud you for doing that. Every child deserves a chance to be successful. That's right, no child left behind. Donate. Um, you go right here. And you can go right there. New reward. Melon seeds. Okay. And let's see what those were. Trilobite. A long extinct relative of the crab. Alright. And the slate, what do you say? It's extremely resistant to water, making it a good roofing material. Alright. Um Okay. Haha. <laughs> oh. Hi. I wanna look for bugs, but mom gets mad when I'm all dirty. It's a tough choice. Uh yeah, I imagine. It's always tough to decide whether or not you wanna listen to your parents. <laughs> oh, a birthday gift. That's very kind of you. I love it. I cannot do a kid's voice. I feel like that was slightly too girly. <laughs> <laughs> oh well. <laughs> dot dot dot. That's it? Okay. Hey, Maya Lewis, what's up? Ah, oh, there's nothing like a strong cup of tea in the morning. Yeah. Tea, coffee, you know, everybody has their go-go juice. Eh. Um... Why are you digging in the trash? Well, you see, because there was an acorn in the trash. <laughs> hey, sorry in advance if I say anything rude. I didn't get much sleep last night. Yeah, that was very rude of you to comment on why I'm digging in the trash. <laughs> Looks like a good day to play catch, huh? It does. If you weren't a girl, I'd ask you to play catch. I'm fine just watching you from a distance. I want to play catch with you or angry. What's that supposed to be? Honestly, um, my reaction is more like <laughs> the last one, but most people don't like it when you get angry at them. So we're going to say, I want to play catch with you and maybe throw it in your face for that comment. But hey, you know, I want to play catch. <laughs> really? I guess I underestimated you. That's right. You did. My arms are really? <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna comment about uh, my arms a little sore, but maybe next time. Yeah, maybe next time. <sighs> All right, who's the next birthday? Um, well, first the egg festival, and then Haley's birthday. I am craving a wild horseradish, Gus. Okay, I can accept that. And oh, that's right, they're closed on Wednesday. Um, hmm. Am I going to remember to give Gus a horseradish tomorrow? I don't know what the luck's going to be tomorrow, and I already don't like the fact that uh, I had to take time to even go get my pickaxe versus just being able to go straight there. So I kind of don't want to give him his horse. Do I have a horseradish? I do. Right now. So I think I will save that for tomorrow, and hopefully I just don't forget. Um... I'll take you as food. And I kind of like you right there. And let's go to the mines. Should be there by like 12.30, no problem. I actually don't recall what level of the mines we are at. 
want to say to make my goal 10 levels down, but we didn't get to start immediately. And depending on where we are, some levels are harder than others. Some floors. Floors. Why do I keep on doing that? I don't know you well enough to trust you. Sorry. Oh, well. Eventually you will. At least you're considerate. Oh, hey! There's horseradish! Haha! <laughs> now we definitely have one for Gus. <laughs> I mean, we technically already had a couple back home, but you know. Better safe than sorry, right? Um, you can go in. And... Give me you. Oh, I did have a couple bars, but that's not enough. I need five. What am I doing? There we go. And... Oh! We had made it to 15. Um... Ooh! I did not do well with that. Um... I don't see any more, but it's a good luck, so you would think, wouldn't it? Oh! Over there. I see you, buggy. Haha. <laughs> Come on, ladder. It's a good luck day. That means, like, I shouldn't have to hit more than five of you. Boy. What is this? Is that it? No. Okay. Ah. <sighs> also need to find a glow ring or something. There we go. Okay, um, I need 25 ore if I need to make five, um, bars. Ooh, I'm not gonna be able to make all five bars though, I don't think. I would still have to go up top to actually start working. Oh, look! Haha! Really? The first floor? I <laughs> the first floor takes me a lifetime to find one, and then in a matter of like five seconds, I could find three. <laughs> Or five seconds from each other, I should say. It was more than five seconds to actually be. Oh, look, there's already one here. That one I don't even have to, like, kill a bug for. Or hit a rock for. But I am curious if there is, uh, anything else over here there is. Bing! Alright, uh, do I want to kill... That guy... You know what? Different time. I don't need to kill him in order to find a ladder or increase my chances of finding a ladder, so... Why bother? You live to see another day. And I feel like I picked up a whip. 9 to 16 versus my 5... Okay, yeah. Let's, um... I think that will be better. Although I do think it swings a little bit slower. It's okay, it does like twice the damage, so I, uh, I think that can count for making up for its lack of speed. I said that, but now I'm regretting saying that because... <laughs> um... Hiya! 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 There we go. Okay, no, I don't regret it now. Because those flying bugs were quite irritating and I actually got rid of it fairly quickly, so. Haha. <laughs> and the level I hate. These winding cinnamon roll levels. Ooh. Ooh. Nope. Okay, three hits for that guy. Uh-oh. No, 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 no. 
Come on, it was a good luck day. Why are you appearing? Go away, you fog. It was a good luck day. I think you lied to me, fortune teller. Got me. Well, at least it's just two hits for them, so. Really? A little late to the party there, aren't you? The fog had already disappeared. Now, the reason why I hate these is because, um, well, they tend to have a lot of rocks, and, uh, the ladder was close by. Ha 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 ha. I might not hate this level that much then. <laughs> I was about to say, uh, in my past experience, you come in here, you grab all the stuff here, and then you have to go like three quarters back to find the ladder. But that one was actually fairly close, so I'm not too mad about it. Mm. I gathered 18. That's enough to make three. And, oh. If I don't grab you, are you still going to be here? What are you anyway for damage? 48? Um, okay, well that's still better than you, so let's drop you. Because I don't have, whoa, what was that? I don't know what I just did there. Okay, I'm curious. Are you... Nope, it's gone. Okay, well, hmm. Really? Oi, Bellwick. <laughs> Alex Oracle, um, I got a feeling I have a bone to pick with you. Go away. Go away. Okay. Just try to hit these as best as I can. slowly running out of energy too. Okay, there was already a ladder, so I don't have to worry about finding one, but I am curious if there's more ore. Which there is, haha. <laughs> oh, and a crap. And you know what? Let's just take that field snack. Just in case there's more <laughs> green fog. I mean, at least it warned you, you know, so it's not entirely bad. Ooh. Nope, come back here. No, I didn't want you to turn. What about you? How many hits do you take? <gasps> Glooming! Haha! <laughs> Go away. Do I see a mushroom? I see a mushroom. Oh, you're stuck in the corner. Haha. <laughs> mushroom! Oh, I did it again. I don't know how I'm doing that though. It's X! Haha! <laughs> okay, figured it out. <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Come on, I only need to go down one floor. Okay. 
Uh, not down there. Okay. Come on, one floor. Then I would have made it ten levels. Whoops, wrong one. There we go. Journal update? What's that journal update for? Okay, ladder, you can appear, like, now. Come on. There we go. Ha-ha! Made it ten levels. And I need to go up. What? Okay, I have... That's not gonna work for me. Got quite a few weapons this time around. You know what? We'll keep those up there. That one can go. And yeah, we'll keep the cut blood bars up there. We'll come back tomorrow. Smelt two more bars. And so we can upgrade our pickaxe. Or not pickaxe, our axe. And. Doo -doo. Turn that into Gunther, that one into Gunther. Got quite a few things to turn into Gunther as well, so that works out. Um, take you, take you. I think I'll leave you guys up here. And of course we need that horseradish, so we don't forget about that for Gus. Um, do 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 do. Debating if I should take this for to make it into bait for fishing. Uh, yeah, let's take it for now. Oh, I forgot you. Actually, since we're coming back here tomorrow, we'll just do that. All right, and now the dreaded race home. <laughs> I think I'll be able to I want to say it takes about an hour in game to make it home from the mines oh I was going to see what that journal was it initiation you successfully dispatched it dispatched dispatched 10 slimes now you can enter the adventurers guild okay so that's what that was that makes sense I was curious to why had a journal update. I was like, I, I was like, maybe it was another help request that I picked up yesterday, but I couldn't remember picking up one yesterday, <laughs> so I was really confused. <laughs> uh, but that's fine. Um, I probably shouldn't do this, but I am going to do this anyway because I don't like to go to bed with that much energy. So I'm just gonna play chicken real quick with time. All right, that's all I'm going to play. Ugh. Um. We'll sell you. Give you to Linus tomorrow. Uh, I should probably have this. can plant that tomorrow, that is all for the archaeology office. Okay, I think that's it. We did make our goal, so that's all good. Let's go to bed. Haha. -ha. Go to sleep for the night? Yes, yes, we can. Oh! Level 2 mining, plus 1 axe proficiency and a new crafting recipe. Staircase, that is wonderful! Uh, okay, kind of wonderful. A little pricey to make, in my opinion, but uh, kind of like what I was kind of worried about, where I was on level 24, and I was like, come on, I need a ladder, I just need to make it to level 25. In future, I can just make a staircase, and it will immediately allow me to go down to whatever next level I want to go to. So that that's good. 
Oh. Level 2 combat. Okay, plus 5 HP. New crafting recipe, life elixir. That's new to me. I don't know what that is. <laughs> and the only thing we sold was that lovely red mushroom because it was gold. That's it. And that, gentle viewers, is the end of the episode. Thank you so much for watching. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.